Well, with all these storms, many are asking how can we capture the rain and snow melt to use later? Well, today the governor signed an executive order making it easier for local agencies to capture floodwaters. The order suspends some regulations. KCAL News reporter Rick Montanez shows us how one local city has already stepped up to capture groundwater. More rain across Southern California, adding to the already high rainfall totals so far this year. The wet weather is helping SoCal's underground water supply. The basin relies on heavy rain years like this to keep it healthy and keep it replenished. Lauren Howland from Long Beach Utilities showed us around the city's newest groundwater pump station. That's where the water stored in the central basin gets pumped out to be cleaned and head to the tap. We've seen a good jump in the replenishment of the basin, but still there's a ways to go, you know, to refill it all the way. And so we still have to be cautious. Statewide, groundwater accounts for between 40 to 60 percent of the water supply each year. Locally, the Water Replenishment District says the Central Basin supplies seven cities, including Long Beach. It went from a critically low 19 percent capacity up to 65 percent with the recent storms. Many water districts also draw from reservoirs and other sources, which have dropped to critical levels during the latest drought. While the rain helps, you know, it's going to take a while to replenish those uh, imported water sources. And while supply is rebounding, Helen says it's important to remember drought conditions can return quickly, even as we end the week with more rain. To have a sustainable future amid climate change, we need to continue to conserve. And this is just one of 12 facilities Long Beach Utilities is building to pump out that groundwater so we can use it at home. In Long Beach, Rick Montanez, KCAL News.